Hi darlings, I hope you're all all right and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react. This is quite an old video, I've got to admit. But I've edited it and I'm not wasting. Waste not, want not. And um, anyway, it, it was quite interesting. I thought it was interesting anyway. Well, I'm, I'm, you're going to get it. You're going to get it whether you like it or not. And so it's up to you if you watch it. I hope you do though. Like and subscribe and share and with full abandonment spread me all over the YouTube like butter on toast. So let's get on with it. Now, as you can see, she's in full cleaning mode. This is, as I said, from quite a few days ago. These moments don't happen very often for foodie. Uh, cleaning mode, I mean. And so to celebrate, she started off with a little bit of a cleaning pre-dance. last very long. Oh, we're doing a little bit more. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> it didn't last very long, did it? No. We only had to have a little, little um, break, didn't we, to have a little pasty or whatever she was shoveling down a gob. Um, she's looking resplendent. She looks like she's got one eyelash on and one eyelash off. Obviously, One's shorter than the other. It's a look. And she's got a little uh, a little pinky nipple hat on. But she's all ready to go in a jamas. Oh, well, I think they're jamas. Or it might be a leisure suit, as they call them. You know, housework clothes. Clothes for just bumming around and, you know, relaxing in. A leisure. A leisure suit, I think they call them. I don't think this is going to be a good angle. If you can find a good angle, my love, I'll get you a coconut. Well, first things first. Right. Go on then. Uh, She's groaning and she hasn't even got started yet. Why is there cap art on the floor that I missed? Because you're a dirty girl, that's why. <coughs> oh dear, cough it up. It might be a gold know. ring. Couldn't care less. I know, darling. Garlic. Perhaps oh, you use that to keep there. Nada away. <sighs> It's an interesting video, isn't it, look? The full regalia of her fridge and her um, cupboards. I'm teetering on the edge of my seat watching All this, right. you know. Beauty fridge. film, is uh, it? Unless we have a little burpet or a little pump. Um. Oh, she's back again. Okay. Okay. I got some dishes soaking. Mm hmm. And. I'm gonna need this for later. Hi! Did she have to push herself up against the counter then? So she has to sort of lift up her tum tum to get it onto the counter to get close to the bloody camera. God, if that's not bleeding, ringing a red alarm, I don't know what is, darling. Hi, guys! Blue pot. I've heard about this blue pot. It's notorious all over social media. Apparently, she hadn't cleaned it. And things had grown <laughs> inside of this set of blue pot. I can't wait to see it. Hmm? 
cleaning to dirty it all up again. Well, yeah. That's, that's how you do. Point. Yeah, you tell him for I wish. This is shit. I mean, uh oh. Pizza's definitely ill in bed. You see. <laughs> He's not feeling good. He's sleeping. Mm hmm. Actually, um, I brought him up some real pineapple juice. Did ya? As opposed to what? Pretend pineapple juice. Or do you mean you, you know, proper, proper juice, freshly squeezed pineapple rather than that, you know, concentrated shit? So I did. Do you like to see the three wick candle? Lovely. So this is the kitchen so far. Mm-hmm. Nuke the villa. I know. Look at it. Jesus, look at I the floor. I got a sweep. Look at the floor. I know. We're looking. And we're going to go look at those pots. Oh, Jesus. It's very messy. But this is project. This mm -hmm. is a project I'm doing. A project? Yeah. Other people collect stamps. Other people put, you know, conservatories on the back of their house. Her project is cleaning her own home, cleaning up her own mess. Oh, by the grace of God, go I. That's Big Turks. Not just another Vegas fall. Happy Easter, I'm one away from 600. Oh my God, you mean like subscribers? I didn't even know you had a channel. <laughs> Where have I been? Ready, set, read Vegas We fall. could tell you. You're scared to see the pot? Looks like bacon bit. It's from, uh, there's like a piece of pita bread and... Jesus. This floor has a Caesar salad on it and I don't know why. Because this dirty Mary who goes around with nipple hats on her head put it on the floor. That's why it's on the floor, you dirty, dirty bleeder. And that is not funny. No. Flies, you'll get maggots. I haven't seen the pot yet. I'm saving it for last. And the thing that worries me is not you. I mean, you could wallow in filth for all I give. Took me apony about you. But those cats, that's what I worry about because they're old. And if, God forbid, something went off and they was to eat it, though, I suppose, I think a cat is a bit more circumspect, let's say, a dog. But let's say they, they got something off it, they ate it, or somehow they got germs off it. It could finish them cats off. I didn't eat lunch yet, I'm hungry. You're always bloody hungry. What are you hmm. in about? Just move. Move? I'd blow it up. When you move. Anyway. I wouldn't do that. Please. Oh. <sighs> Just throw the pot away, I probably will. <laughs> what a waste of money. Soak it. In boiling hot water and get yeah, it clean. I'm gonna throw it out, I think. I'll show it to you though. Jimmy! Terrible wasteful. Mmm, life's all though. Is anyone sniping me right now? Because I'm going to go put them on. And I'm not going to scream until they stop sniping me. Right. So. Is it driving you mad? Is it getting you niggly? I feel the same way about you, Bab. Hi, Gemini Gem. I don't care. Mm-hmm. If you react to me after, I don't, I don't want you to stream snipe me at the same time. Mm-hmm. Or... Use my whole video and no commentary, because I will strike you. Right. Give a fuck. She's, uh, this is fighting talk, this. She's back to a Mar Baker moment. If someone stream saves me, I'm mm -hmm. just going to go put their stream on. Yeah. And I'm not going to talk. That sounds like Until a plan. they stop. Anarchist. And if they don't, I will go back to fucking videos. No, you won't. You'll never go back to pre-recorded videos because you're lazy, Mary. Don't tell lies. Let's clean. I'm crabby because I have to clean. 
Ah. It's horrible having to clean up after your own filth, isn't it? Perhaps a better proposition would be to tidy as you go, like I do. You know, if I spill, like I drop a cup of tea on the floor or something, I get a cloth, I wet it, could put a bit of spray on it, a bit of kitchen spray, or better still, some antibacterial kitchen wipes, and I wipe the fucker up. That stops somebody or one of the woofers or one of the pussies walking it through. That save it, saves it turning into a sticky mess on the floor. It's an idea for you. Mull it over. I woke up early to get cute for you guys. Did you? I feel bad for Miss Gill too. You didn't get up early enough by the looks of it. Because while you were beezing everywhere... No, it's not a service, Northwest. Oh, this is a young lady called, um, oh, bugger. Mrs. Something Reacts. Oh, bumholes. I forgot her channel name. Do you know, I've I got a mind like a sieve, I really have. All I can do is blame it on the menopause. And uh, she's got a, a arse and her hand with this lady. What I'll do is, when I edit it, I'll put it on the screen. And you can go over and subscribe to her and watch her videos and give her a thumbs up. That's stealing content. If you don't want to pay the money, then don't watch my shit. And if you don't want to pay the price to yourself and your self-esteem and confidence and mental health, don't make all this public. Sorry. She's a fucking thief. She's not a fucking thief. She's not a thief at all. She's just doing something who you don't want to do. Who fucking Miss Fields? I have to fucking pay my Miss Fields reacts, me. that's it. I knew it would come. Oh. I might I still smart, but I'm screen. just really passionate about that shit. It's annoying. It's high. I'm glad to see that you're passionate, but about something and isn't it funny isn't it funny that all the things that you're passionate about are things that benefit you or things that don't benefit you it's always you that you're passionate about you should marry yourself no more free rides for you does that extend to old Gladys is up, that's up there coughing his guts out you mean my house? we don't like freeloaders do we Taking care of some other tax shit. Tax shit? Oh, you're not going to pay your taxes, are you? My God. You're turning into quite a patriot. Corporate, incorporating myself. Incorporating yourself into what? What are you incorporating yourself into? You're making yourself a brand, my God. What an attractive brand that'll be. Your advertisement team will have a bit of its work cut out. And no more fucking around. Ooh! You do know that that will take energy. You do know that you'll have to get your ass off that bloody chair that's super glued to it and actually do something mental and physical. Don't speak too soon because, you know, all this yakety yakety yak needs a little bit of oomph to back it up. In that order. Oh, and then eco speeding. Lovely. Sure nice. You're going to try and be nice, my God. Hold on a minute. Let's take a dip, deep breath. This could be a Zen moment. We could spiritually arise into a new dimension. This is a moment in time. She's going to be nice. Hold on to your wigs, girls. Could you kindly? Could yes, you please, go on. Please. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I know reaction channels aren't going anywhere. No, we're and not. I'm sure. I'm staying with you forever and ever. And we're going to be besties, me and you. Me and that nipple at. We all don't want strikes. No, we so, don't. So, how about we make this an environment for everybody? Okay. You can use my content mm -hmm. in a transformative manner. Yes. For criticism, whatever the hell. I am. Um, well, I'm going to do that anyway. But I don't on. even care if you make fun of me sometimes. I make fun of but you all the time, darling. Do not stream snipe me while I'm streaming. Wait till I'm finished. Okay. Okay. Look at that, Jesus. You're gonna have a bit more dancing. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing 
If I was you, I'd uh, contact your lawyer and start up uh, some legal proceedings towards anybody that bought you that. What the hell have you got? Are they jammers? Please don't tell me they're velour. Plumptious, voluptuous ladies. Look, you've even got my pussy crying out. Plumptious, voluptuous ladies shouldn't be wearing velour. Velour is not the material for us, darling. The colour's quite nice on you, though, and it's a bit different from beige, I suppose. But, you know... Oh, put it down. We don't want to see that belly. Yes. Yes. A struggling, yes. And this shirt. Lovely. This shirt was a gift. Was it? That was a nice gift, wasn't it? Hey, Sam. Why can't she just stand there normal and say, look, this is what I'm wearing? Why does she have to do the wiggly bits and the silly little movements to sort of, oh, I don't know, draw attention to a figure? To her own de uh, detriment. Do you know what I mean? I just... Oh. Oh, she's bending over. Oh, she's a little smaller. Should you be doing that? Things I'm going to put. helping, look. Here. What do you think you're doing, Sam? Oh. Oh, that poor oh. cat. He's saying, get off me. You silly Mary. And don't put your hand there on his tuppence. It's not nice. It's so bad. Look who's talking. The bleeding pot calling the kettle black. I'd scratch you for that if you that You are so fat. Oh, she's got clothes. Uh, oh, Jesus. Excuse me. No, I won't excuse me. Goody cat goes running. Oh, she's got the broom out, he's saying. Bleed now. Finger yeah. of God has come down and bopped her on the head. Come Why? on, put a bit of effort into it. You, you. Do this. Every. Move that thing and pull it to Every one side. Time. How are you going to get into all the nooks and crannies? Move that bloody walker and get in there with the brushes, the, the bristles on that brush. Christ, you can't even bloody sweep properly. You. you can tell she's not had much experience. This morning, because I'm sweeping. Mm-hmm. Every time we say goodbye, I wonder why a little. Do you? Inquiring minds. Oh yeah, we're watching you, don't you worry. I'm scoring you out of ten. Come on, put some more effort into it. What shit's on that bloody floor? Christ. Eyeing up the audience as if to, as if she's gauging the reaction. But whenever it's finally all clean, it's like mm -hmm. super, super satisfying. Yes, it is. You know what I mean? It's I, I do, darling. It's lovely living in a clean home. I mean, my house, but might, might be messy at times. But you know, I have got three pussies, a woofer, and a little boy, and an husband. But it's clean. It is the best feeling in the world to have everything clean. I couldn't live in a shithole. I don't like it. 
Oh, some more dancing. You know how this hangs? Like, this is gonna... Yeah. Be so snaggy. Yes, it is. <laughs> when you lose all your ways. <laughs> I think I ripped my pants. <laughs> Jesus. I told you them trousers were struggling. stuff this isn't it look at the crap this. she's got all over the place God. don't know how she does it and then later tonight like I said mm -hmm. I just can't really see then later tonight like I said I'll probably uh, do some of my room mm -hmm. If you've got any energy left. Right now. Mm -hmm. Does anyone want some chicken stew? No. I know you do. I wouldn't give that to me worst bloody enemy. You look at the gravy and leave the chunks. You look at the gravy and leave the chunks. She's talking to the pussy. <laughs> I must admit my domino does that. He loves the jelly on, you know, dog and cat food. And he's apt to go to Milo's bowl, you know, lick all the jelly off Milo's chunks and then walk away. He's a little ninja. Bullshit. It's bullshit. It's gone a bit pixelated. Perhaps the camera can't deal with the vision it's taking in. Look at the crap, she's gone everywhere. What's she putting right. that cardboard in recycle in the bin bags for? That should don't tell me they haven't got a recycling centre in the community where she lives. I don't believe they don't have recycling over here. We have the um, the blue bins that are recycling. I don't that that cardboard needs to go in there to be recycled. Boxes though, yes, they need to go. Oh yes, they do, Madam Chalet. Desperately. Sam. It's a pretty glitter. No, that's not good. That cardboard she's just put in there is not going to recycling because she just put a load of plastics in it and all. No. Can... I'll take it out later. Mm hmm At night? Yeah. When nobody can see you and you can't feel ashamed that uh <laughs> that you have so much garbage to to go out. As if the whole of your community is just sat there poised with binoculars watching you waiting for you to take your rubbish out nobody gives a shit nobody sits there in their kitchen window watching the neighbors go out with their wheelie bins people don't care no one's going to sit there and count or comment on how many times you go to the rubbish area for god's sake it's not as if you're doing a bleeding drug um deal outside on the corner you're just taking some rubbish out just shows you the mentality with the shame and guilt because she knows she lives in a shithole she thinks everybody in her community know you know around where she actually lives she thinks that they all think that she lives in a shithole so she's frightened to take out, out a rubbish in in daylight absolute madness <laughs> an insight though into how her brain works but yeah that's all i'm gonna say mm -hmm. i'm not gonna focus too much on reaction channels and okay shit like that because but we'll focus on I'm you, darling, don't you worry. And from now on, mm -hmm. whatever doesn't serve me yeah. is not is beneath me. 
Well, that's most of your life, isn't it, really? Most of your life doesn't bleed and serve you. Your eating addiction, your drug addiction, your ranting and raving, your lying, your manipulating, and anything and everything to do with DD and Nada. Not much left, really. In fact, I don't even think Gladys is that good to you as in, in, in view of your life. You know what I mean? I know he's your best pal and everything, and you've known him for years and years, but really having him in your life doesn't really make you prosper, does it? In fact, I think in quite a few ways, he holds you back and enables you to do what you do. And it's not going to get any of my effing attention. So okay. I thought well, I heard... Well, we'll see. We'll see. The next ranting and raving video you do, I'll uh, remind you of this. A certain death is someone. I'm trying not to name call either. Cause oh, well, you bloody hell, that's going to be tough. I like being able to say, at least I don't have to... It's not very good, is that. it, this connection? So, what? Come on, fix your connection. Positive, exactly. You're going to be positive, lovely. My eyelashes are not the same. No, they're not. Um, they're a bit half cocked. What else was I going to say? I don't know, but hurry up. She's absolutely shattered and all she's done is that bit of sweeping. How's that go? You made me feel more human about how my house gets from depression. My house gets very bad because of depression. Well, uh, mm. And other reasons. And other reasons, yes. Mainly your house becomes what it does because you're lazy. You know, she keeps this, um, she keeps up with this thing about blaming everything on her depression and mental health. Look, I, I know that um, depression can, ca can cause you to be a bit more uh, messier and tidier. And, and, and for some people it does cause them to uh, relax on personal hygiene and, and the hygiene and, and tidiness of their home. Absolutely it does. But I think with Madame Chalet here, I think it's more to do with her uh, total disinterest in housework that causes this mess. And also Gladys, you know, he needs to get his finger out. Back to eating. We're having a little break. I feel like people underestimate how bad... Physically, depression makes you feel. Mm. Making excuses? <laughs> yes, you are, I think, don't you? Whatever. No, my house is gross and I need to clean it. That's it. Yep. So. Get on with it instead of sitting there eating pasta. It's very hard when you have depression. You don't want to do it. You don't give a shit about anything. So, why are you going to care about doing your eyelashes? The thing is, it's like the only way. And it's not always possible to do this. The only way to get out of that is to just really fucking force yourself. I don't know exactly. how Exactly. Like right now, I'm really forcing myself uh, to yeah. clean. Like I really, really don't even want to just even... I don't even... I'm, I'm feeling... My depression right now is like to the point I don't even want to sit and do nothing. I just don't even really want to just like... Nothing. I just don't want to do anything. And we know. You know what I mean? But you're like that all the time. Of being lazy. How do how are you how do you even feel like you have the right to even like even make that judgment on somebody? Just do. And I just have. Your house is a shithole because you and Gladys are lazy. I don't doubt that your depression exacerbates it. But the main cause for your house being a shithole. Is because you both of you are lazy and you both had it all done for you by other people, family and perhaps partners the whole of your life. You're lazy. You don't know shit about me. <laughs> Excuse me? Have you watched your channel? I know the ins and outs of a dog's ass when it comes to your life because you put it all on public blast. Actually, I'm pretty sure I told you guys all of the struggles with my mental health. Oh, you over have. The years. You've used them as excuses for years. Yeah, but laziness stems from sadness or depression. Depression is like. <sighs> I 
And then after the house is clean, mm -hmm. we are going to the gym. Oh, are you? You're not even going to recognize me next year. Am I not? And I don't mean looks. What do you mean then? I'm not going to seduce people with my good looks. I'm going to seduce people with my confidence. Ah, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Just you wait and see. I am waiting with bated breath. Yeah, I'm going to start taking more trash out. I'm going to take that trash all out. Because she's not feeling well and I just, I want to fucking take my own trash out. I haven't done that yet in my life. My God, there's one to tick off the bucket list. Actually, at the old apartment, the chute was across the hall, so I used to just go all the time and just shoot the garbage. Did you? Wow. <laughs> Do you think your depression is bad? You're an right accomplished now? bugger, you are, then aren't you? Yeah. Should see therapy. I know, I've been. I did do some therapy sessions. I don't think really therapy fucking helps me. You don't try it enough to bleed and gather enough information to be able to make that statement. You don't put any effort into it. You've got to put effort into it. Oh. Again, we're back to your laziness. You know that you need to do it, but you don't want to do well, it. That's the bit, truth. Yeah. It does put perspective on stuff. Of course it does. Like the theories I didn't realise, like attachment theory and all that shit. And all that crap that you can use and twist and turn into excuses for yourself. Fabulous. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm ready for that right now. Oh, God. I bet you're ready for another past. Another to seek out another therapist. I just don't know if mentally I can handle it. What, ringing round the phone book? Going on the internet? Counseling? Asking for some suggestions That's the from your doctor. Week, like, I want to call. It's Easter weekend, but I wrote it down on a sticky note to put on my computer because I just keep forgetting. I need to call. The, the psychiatric hospital has a treatment center, like substance use, abuse, or whatever. Substance abuse. Mm-hmm. So... My doctor wanted me to go there. Do you, Sandra? Because... Um, you abuse substances. They want me to get off of the... We, they want me to wean off the edibles. They don't want me to just mm -hmm. come off of them. That's why yeah. they want me to go to the thing. Yeah. So not having them for a week in Cuba was probably not a good idea, but no. I couldn't bring them. You know? Psychiatrist, yeah. I definitely need, they want, um, I need a psychiatric evaluation. You do, la time. love. You need studying in a lab. Like manic depression and schizophrenia run in my family, so. Mine too. I just want to like be properly, like if I need help, because it affects my relationships with other people. Mm -hmm. I fucking go, I lose my shit. Like yes. Bad. bad, 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 bad. We've been telling you all of this for years. So right now I'm just on... Uh, antidepressants. Mm -hmm. Hey, peeps! How are you feeling? Everyone's wondering. Always rose. I don't think I'm going to clean the pot. It's too gross. Is it? I'm going to get more piercings. Yes, I am. What for? Septum. This. You're like a pink And cushion. my ears. The jewel ear jewelry is so expensive. Imagine, like... How much money? It would be like a thousand dollars in your ear by the time you're finished. But you have to do one ear at a time. Mm hmm Because... So I want to get like... My flat pierced. This. Two holes here. And... She's thinking that she's going. Two holes here. And then I want to do the same on this side. Mm-hmm. And that's Lovely. it. Lovely. They'll love you at the airport security, won't they? When you That's go how the shop travels. makes money. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. They sell their own jewelry. But you want to have, like, I don't know, you could probably buy, like, it's only, like, for now while it's healing. <clears throat> but I can't just have, like, I'm going to throw it away, Norma Jean. You can't just have, um, Cheap. I can't just have cheap materials in my piercings because it irritates me. Yeah. But also the fact that you don't clean them properly, that also irritates them, doesn't it? I had something in my teeth. I did brush my teeth today. Oh, wow. There's another thing to knock off your bucket list. My God, darling, you're doing well today. 
proud of All you. All right, let's finish cleaning the kitchen. Go on then, the kids. You've had enough of a break. The dishes are done. Oh, lovely. You didn't do them, though, did you? you? That machine did them. So don't tick that off your bucket list. That was cheating. Be... I thought you were going to mop that floor. Hi. Oh, yeah. We can see you. Don't blow us kisses. Oh, she is mopping. Are you mopping? Didn't guess that the car Oh, she's still sweeping. My... Oh, God, she's oh, going into one the now. the rest of my life. She said, oh, 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 you kids like a Russian. Oh, oh, oh. She's like your great aunt at a wedding, isn't she, that's grabbed hold of the karaoke mic and has given it some welly. Get on with it. So far between the moon and the ocean. Oh, 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 oh. Listen to the crap that she's sweeping up on that floor. <sighs> the debris. God. I'm just getting all the bacon bits here. <laughs> now I do have to clean my oven, but. That's another story. I, I, I can just imagine what your oven's like. Take a tip from me. If you don't listen to anything else I say, there are companies that will come in and clean your oven. You're not going to be able to uh, deal with that oven and get it up right. One of those oven cleaner in the bag things is not going to do it. You need to just spend a few quid. It's not that expensive. Get a chap out and they will blast it with professional cleaning equipment and steamers and God knows what else. Let them do it. And then once you've got a clean oven, just keep on top of it. Just give it a wipe over once a week. You want to see the pot? We do. We're gacking to see this pot. I'm going to need to get more mop heads. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't tell me even your mop head's filthy. The pot reveal? Yeah, that's what we're waiting for. Stop staring at <laughs> us like that. You look like a bleeding serial killer behind bars, staring out through the bars at you. It's very uh, Anthony Hopkins. You're having so father is... beans for your tea. And some nice Chianti. The blue pot? Yep. Oh, we got, this is the blue pot pot moment that we've all been waiting for. I'm gagging. Oh, here it comes. Look. Look at the size of it. It's like right. a cauldron. Oh, she's put. Oh, very dramatic. You don't need to put a bleeding mask on. You've been breathing that air in for years. Shut up. Oh God. Yeah, we can see ya, performance art. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've even got a soundtrack <laughs> to this movie. If you are grossed out mm -hmm. to the eighth degree, yeah, you do not want to look inside this fucking pot right now. I look at so you. Give you a minute to look away. Done. I'm dead hard. Oh, go on. It's stuck. Shit. It's that manky, it's stuck. <coughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh no. That's gotta go outside. It has spores. It has spores. You have spores, oh. but your flange does. Jesus, could you imagine it? Could you imagine it? That would be in the sink with boiling hot water and bleach. And I'd leave it in a big blob of fairy liquid. And I'd leave it to soak for a day. That pot could be rescued. I mean, I know it looks like apocalypse now. But that pot could be rescued. <laughs> what did you think? It was horrendous, but I expect no less of you, darling. And you always deliver. It's disgusting. It is disgusting. It's in there, man. 
Take your mask off, Annabel Lecter. Oh, I, I technically create a life. Does that make me a god? <laughs> I technically create, create a life. Mold pneumonia to arc incoming. <coughs> I am the god of hellfire, and I bring you PTSD. You are manager's nightmare. Why? I'm actually not that bad. They came to my house a bunch of times because people reported me. Don't underestimate yourself, darling. Have some confidence in yourself. You really are that bad. Take a round of applause. We just have to get rid of the boxes for like fire reasons, but yeah, they didn't really say much about it. House of Horrors. <laughs> What they said was, they came and they said, that's a fire hazard, we want you to remove them. The fact that they didn't go on and on and on about them is not is neither here nor there. They expected that you were sensible human beings and they expected when they said to you, oh, that's a fire hazard, it's against the terms and conditions of your tenancy, we want you to remove them, they expected you to do it. Believe me, if they were aware that you hadn't done it, they would have said something about it. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, I have like tried. I just need to clean up. It, you know, takes me like, take me a day to get most of the stuff in livable condition. But if you do it straight away, as soon as, you know, you, if you don't drop things on the floor in the first place, or if you see a mess and you tidy that up straight away, it never gets into the position where you have to take days out to clean. You know, the, it's a two bedroom department. We're two grown-ups, you know. I mean, there's two pussies, but, you know, they're, they're old cats. They're not making that much of a mess. Don't tell me that they make that much of a mess, that it's that much of a hardship for you to clean that house. Come on. You know, if it was, like, really, really horrible, it would take a long, long time to clean. It's, it's BBJ. Her name is BBJ, but I call her BBJ. Oh uh, yeah. I'm actually tired. I might have a nap after this. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> God. I might have a nap before my next cleaning session. Actually. A little bit of sweeping, a little bit of mopping, and she needs a nap. I know they're gonna call again. You should see all the garbage and how dirty she is. I'm sure they've seen a lot worse, guys. Actually, they've said that we have they have actual like hoarders <laughs> and like people. They're property managers. They've seen way worse. Come on. The fact that your property managers have said to you, oh, we've seen way worse, doesn't mean to say that what you're living in is okay. Because it's not your property. It's not even your property. You, you're renting it off somebody. You know, that's like me saying to myself, oh, it's all right for me to be as big as I am and to damage my health. Because other people smoke far more than I do and are far more heavier and eat far unhealthier than I do. That doesn't make my situation okay. The fact that there's people out there that live worse. God. Anything can be turned into an excuse worse. for her. It's the way a mind works. I think they're happy as long as they get their money and you don't destroy the property. Which I don't. Uh, once I clean foundationally, it's still. Yeah, but if you start doing, leaving food and everything everywhere, you bring in rats, they will destroy the, the apartment. You bring in cockroaches or flies and maggots and allow things to, you know, rot, it will create mould and that will destroy a property. A very nice place. I didn't, have to, I, don't, I didn't have to put, we didn't have to put a security deposit for damages. It was, uh, we, have, we have insurance. So if, we, if there's any damages, our insurance will cover that. Mm -hmm. But uh, for things like wear and tear carpet, they've replaced the carpet anyway, you know. I was trying to tell my grandmother that. She was so worried she wouldn't get her deposit back. We, ha we have to pay first and last month's rent, but you don't have to pay. Usually if you have to pay first and last, you don't, you don't have to put a security deposit as well, do you? The house really isn't that bad. It's just normal stuff. No, that's not normal, love. To yeah. have a pot like that well, is not normal. Well, I mean, it's, cl it's, 
yeah, I just need to put stuff back in its place mm -hmm. and keep it clean. Yeah. Quite simple. Whose house is huge? Mine? I know. It's not really a huge house compared to like, it's, a, it's like an apartment. It's a big apartment. It's got three, it's got a, two levels. That's why it seems big. But I agree. Like sometimes I get annoyed with how far I have to walk from here to wow. here. That is annoying, that is, isn't it, darling? I mean, that's a bleeding marathon in itself. I'll catch myself all crabby in the middle of the room going, oh, my God, if my house was smaller, I'd already be in the bathroom by now. If your ass was smaller and you were uh, less fat and a lot more fitter, you wouldn't even have those thoughts into your mind. I swear. Mm, you know you swear. <laughs> We've heard your mouth. <clears throat> She keeps looking at that lug. Is it still infected? <laughs> My house is bad. It's less bad now. Oh, well, that's good. It's not perfect yet, but it's less bad. What time is it? Are we making good time here? We still have an hour, uh, just under an hour. So, yes, we are. Fabulous. All I have left to do is mop mm -hmm. and finish the dishes and clean the stove and counter. I should be able to do that if I move my ass. Yeah. And then I'm going to come back at 7 to 10. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go live on the computer and clean my room. Like my Fabulous. priority this weekend is getting my house clean. And then tomorrow, actually, I'm doing a new OnlyFans shoot. Oh. I'm going to sh I'm gonna aim to have new OnlyFans content every Sunday. Fabulous. <clears throat> That sounds exciting. It's not always going to be the same. It's going to be surprises. Is there? Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to have to scrub that after. Thank you. Pete's is alive and I have not killed him. I said it. He made a habit to take the few minutes to rinse dishes and put them in the washer, throw out trap each time. Yes, every night. Like, have a little routine. You cook yeah. dinner, you throw out the trash, you do the dishes, and you're mm -hmm. done for the night. It's I called rudimentary adulting, like, Bab. It feels weird. Once I start getting in a routine, I feel anxious, and I start freaking out. Oh, shut up. Every time you attempt to do a routine, you don't get anxious and freak out. You get annoyed and pissed off that you've got to move your ass and do something. So you think, fuck it, and leave it. Uh, excuse me. I don't excuse, you know. You like the singing? I'm going to do more sick beats thing. Like, I complain. For people who are normal functioning adults, they look mm -hmm. at me and think, holy fuck. Uh, yes, yes we do. adulting, okay? We finally, you finally got glad. it. And I'm not just saying that as an excuse. I am a very depressed person. Oh, God. It's always been a problem. I just never have, like, the motivation to want to better myself. And now I do have more of it. So I'm going to... Why have you got motivation? Who's instilled you with motivation? You're full of flannel. You are the way you are because you've got away with it all of your life. Because your family and your friends and those that surround you enable you. If you'd have had some tough bloody love at a young age, you wouldn't be half as bad as what you are. Take advantage of it. I don't know how long it's going to last. Not usually too long. Well, no. Well, soon love it. She knows, doesn't she? She knows all the twists and turns and the cycles and the routines and the patterns. And we just play along with you, the, don't the we? The main kid? important thing I re realized since mm -hmm. Cuba, if there, you know, if there's anything, I have to with any substances, I have to stay very moderate, which mm -hmm. is hard when you have an addictive personality. Yeah. Um. So I might have to cold turkey some of it. Like, alcohol, I, I'm actually afraid to drink and mm -hmm. not be able to control myself. Yeah. Like, I have this insane fear of losing control of myself, and I don't want to get like that ever again. So if I... I'm, You've got to gain control of yourself to lose the fuck, yeah? I'm, like, actually, like, don't want to drink anymore because of Good. That. It's not a good look <laughs> on you, lovey. So. So. Because I know people think I was just being mean and like it doesn't affect me and I'm a total bitch for everything I said. But I actually like, 
was like completely emotionally broken down and like really mm-hmm. just out of my mind and really drunk and really hateful. Yeah, we noticed that. You know, we had an inkling. I wasn't just trying to be mean. I wanted to hurt people. Mm, like a you serial know? killer. Anyone that came to my mind. Mm-hmm. You're an asshole, and you're an asshole, and you're a fucking asshole. Actually, I think I use the C word a lot. You did. <clears throat> and I know I don't want to be like that ever again. But you ever, will. Ever, ever again. Because it's part of the pattern, isn't it, kid? But I won't. And that keeps the wheels of your channel turning. Did you say so. My word. It's going to start meaning something. Damn it. Is it, my God? Wow, I have a whole cupboard full of dishes. Check it out. Yeah. That's what happens when you wash up. Wonderful. All the clean cat dishes. There's a whole bunch. They were all dirty. I'm sure. They I know. You like your clean. You like your dishes with the dishes. Excuse me. Can I ask what you're doing? Huh? Wandering around in amazement. Where's all the shit off the floor that I like to nibble on as I'm passing by? What are you doing? Are you bullying her in the bathroom? No, they're wondering whether or not together having a little conf flab about whether or not you've you know, fallen in and hit your head. Because they can't believe the floor is actually clean and tidy. They're probably dazed. That's what he was doing, BBS Angels, wasn't he? No, it's not dinner yet. Here, there's some leftover chicken stew. Oh my God, don't <coughs> give them pussies that. They'll have the shits. Honestly, the more you do clean as you go, that's true, Rosemary. Honestly, sometimes I feel like have, like... Just having a kid, like, for some people, it forces them to be clean, right? Mm-hmm. Like, not always. But for me, I feel like if I had to, like, I don't do shit for myself. That's what I'm learning to do. If I have to do shit for myself, it doesn't motivate me. Like, Pete's being sick motivated me to get my ass in gear, get some shit. I actually went up and, like, got, ran in and out of the store with my mask and mm-hmm. then I just went and got some shit. Um, wow. Medicine. Like, it, it makes, it motivates me if, like, you know, so, like, having a kid, it makes your life harder, but you, 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 you can't be selfish, you know, like, That's you nice. just feel like you just want to, like, protect and take care of that person. And You're talking to the converted here. Everyone comes before me, the pussies, the woofer, my husband, my son, my son being number one. I live for my boy. You're talking to the converted dying. You don't need to tell me all of that. Okay. Like, I, I really, really was a willful child. I, you, I'm shocked. I can't believe a word of that. Were you really? Was you a really a willful little bleeder? Of course you bloody were. My mom was very soft. She was a single She mom. was, she. Um... I think I expected her to be perfect. Parents are not perfect, they're human. Of course they are. Your mum was too soft on you and she let you get away with blue murder. That is the root of your problem and it's been said a thousand times by a thousand different people. And you know it. Because you're not stupid. I mean, you act daft, but you're not. You need to start putting all that shit from the past, your childhood, your teenage years, where it belongs in the past. I mean, those memories, they never fade. They never fade. But they need just to be like photos in a photo album. They are the past. You need to start looking forward and how you're going to change from what you were before. Make your life better. You know, as a kid, you expect adults to just be, like, so wholesome and functioning. And before you know it, you're 40 and you're like, I don't know what I want to do when I grow up yet. Well, you need to be honest. You need to catch up. I need to realize that this is my life now and I'm going to enjoy it. But not me. I'm refusing to, like, be settled for a life. As long as I'm breathing and my heart is beating, Mm -hmm. if I have a dream... That's all I need in life. Right. A dream lover. Absolutely. Dreams and ambitions and daydreams and things like that. Wishes, they're all very important. But one has also got to have 
a foot on the terra firma. So dream away as much as you want, but face reality as well. If you take away your dreams, life is just, there's no wonder to life anymore. It's just like, mm -hmm. life is just procedural. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they need so doing. Whenever, like, I know I'm very unrealistic. Who would agree, like, if it's getting in... Well, you, you're like this because you're childish. You, you haven't matured like a normal adult. You're childish. So you still have this mentality. You need to make the leap into adulthood. A way of your life and everything, but I think to some degree it's healthy to have, like, dreams and be yeah, a little you bit can have dreams as adults. Because you never know. You, you know, never I know. never expected my channel would ever come back five minutes before my birthday ended. You never know. You never know, kid. You know? The only thing we know is that we don't know anything. Mm -hmm. That's the wisest word. I think Socrates. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I took philosophy 101 in university. Did you? How, so, how, many, how many lessons did you attend? Or did you get bored through the first one and fuck off from McDonald's? Yeah. So boring. And hard. I'm like, sure it is. The same thing as hard. Which is why most people don't win on arguments, or they wonder why. There's like all kinds of like argument fallacies and things to study. Mm -hmm. You're too busy dreaming and not living in reality. Hello. Uh, see, I'm not. I, see, that's the thing. Thank you, Chad. <laughs> you need a good balance. I don't have. You do that. balance is everything, kid. <clears throat> Yin so and yang. On. That's what you need to do, stop. darling. You need to get a little man in. And get yourself ying ding yang. Stop wanting instant gratification for everything in life. Mm -hmm. I get bored easily and I move on if I'm not finding what I want. Exactly, because you're so self getting what I want out of things. What's she you doing know? with that bleeding I'm pan handle? Don't do that, it's funny. Listen, usually I stand to wash my pots, but I'm sitting to. You sit for really. everything, Flash. It's actually easier. I'm sure it is. Oh! was over back to reality I don't anymore i think Good. i have like honestly ptsd not well not like actual pt a little bit maybe have you been diagnosed by a Cuba. like i don't even want to touch alcohol i'm not even good kidding. you're not just kidding are you sure about that no uh -uh. i want to i want to go to mexico do yeah. I, I have, I want to travel, but mm -hmm. what my plan is to do. Oh, go on, tell in me. In between, and then I'm getting off. Okay. Little, exploring little things in Canada, like little Fabulous. Uh, local things. That would be nice. There's so many little towns with histories and stuff. I bet it's fabulous in Canada. Little places in between prepar preparing for a bigger trip. So, like, that would be lovely. The bigger trip I'm preparing for right now, I'm going to lay low. Mm -hmm. We're going to do like Kingston and stuff like that. But, like, the big trip I want to do is mm -hmm. East Coast. So, Fabulous. like, driving, I'm going to rent a car. Yeah. Um, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maine, Nova uh, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia. Oh, that Scotia. sounds really lovely, actually. I love PEI. I just want to hang out there for the summer. That would be so nice. <laughs> like rent a house for the summer, I swear. Mm-hmm. That's what I might do. Fabulous. Tiff, yeah. Get it done. It looks cluttered, but it's clean. Like, clean. Yeah, that's the main it's thing. Warm. It's clean. Mess you can live with, but it's got to be clean. Because, you know, you, you can is as hot. It's a lot hotter than here in England. You don't want to get cockroaches or bugs of any kind. You don't want to get rats or mice, babes. Because I think someone told me once that mice are incontinent. So as they're running everywhere, they're weeing and pooing themselves all the time. No. You clean, you're right. I'll give you your due on this one. Clean is the most important thing. But if you could just, you know, have a little bit of a declutter. Anything that you haven't touched or bothered with in 12 months... Get it, you know, either down the charity shop or in the bin. Okay, it's so clean, it looks weird. I'm and sure it, it does. Good in here. Does it nice? It smelled like effing crap earlier. I bet yeah, it I'm did. Like, 
And it's not just bad for you, it's also bad for them pussies. We need to clean it starting to smell. There was like garbage, there was like a garbage bag or something in it, I don't know. Jesus. Is that your is that your indicator? Is that your alarm? Once the alarm goes off, oh my god, it stinks like shit in here. I must clean. My God. Everything is neatly bagged up mm -hmm. and outside and we'll yeah. go to the trash tonight. Very good. You'll be like two uh, ninjas where you're under the cover of darkness. You're gonna wear all black. You got a balaclava. God that'd be quite uh, That'd be quite interesting to watch that. Most copyright claims. <coughs> so what happened was I copyright claimed her when she was mm -hmm. just stealing my Patreon content. Oh, she's on about Miss Phil's reaction. Of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing with copyright claiming is any person can counterclaim you. Yeah. Like, she can say, oh, well, it's fair use. So mm -hmm. in that case, it's out of YouTube's hands. Yeah. And they need proof that you're going to do something legally for it, which... Right. I just let it go. like Most of the time. But it just slipped my mind. No, you just leave it because you're all mouth and no action. You haven't got the balls to push it any further. You just want to scare the person in question. I'm actually going to retain... Are you? I mean, if I'm going to be incorporating, I need an attorney. Mm -hmm. and like, yeah, you I, do. I just... I, do, I want to do things the right way. If mm -hmm. people are stealing my shit and using yeah. it, I, I don't want them to do that. Well, go you on then, I mean? you like, do it. If it's not transformative, it's not fair use, then screw you. Right. That's how I feel. Good. But how you feel is a different from what you're going to do. You see, you feel a lot of things and you make these mental notes and you probably write lists and everything, but you've got to actually put them into action for them to count. Because up until that point, they're all waffle. They're all flannel, hot air. So, and I have a right to. It's my, mm. as a well, do it then. Right Go on then. Let's see you. People like Foxy 8, they're real creators. Mm -hmm. They're not just somebody... Who just has a platform, just has a channel, and like, hey, I want to make money. I want to, I want to make profit. I, I want to, you know, they don't really have anything real to contribute, yeah. real anything to say. They're not an artist. They don't have any real opinions that anyone gives a shit about. They just play their stuff and then let people react to it, or they sneer once in a while. How the hell is that fair? You know what I mean? Like that's just stupid. And that's that's what that person is to me. Like I don't, I don't usually go after other people, like other reaction channels, mm -hmm. because yeah, they talk a lot about, they discuss a lot about. What's going on? Mm -hmm. You know? We do. Love her. But you see, your perspective on it is a little bit skewed from the rest of us. Because we all live with our feet permanently on the terra firma. You don't. You've acknowledged as much yourself. You live in a little ball of, bubble of your own making. <laughs> um... Not really much happened, I guess, Che. I just don't want two-faced people in my life. Like, mm -hmm. I was talking to Ange. Oh, she's on the uh, And Sandy Ange a and lot Sandy behind again. the scenes. And they were yeah. going to come here. Mm-hmm. And everything. And then all of a sudden, one day, there's a, they, they, they do a video. Kind of just like shit. Like, just that they're so disappointed in me. They don't condone anything. Like a reaction channel. But you just said that you don't mind reaction channels. When they've got something to say, they've got something to discuss, to add to the conversation. When they're discussing something that's truthful. It's like, okay, like, I hate two-faced people. That's all. So, I'm not mad, whatever. It is. It's not so much being two-faced. Being two-faced is if they were... If they were to back you up and enable you behind the scenes whilst publicly telling everybody else how outrageous you were, they sort of told you to your face. They made uh, made public their thoughts on you. So it's not really two-faced, is it? They once were in support of you and then they aired unsupportive uh, opinions about you. It's not being two-faced. Their minds changed. Changed. You've done or said something that they didn't agree with. And they've just aired that opinion. I mean, I don't, I don't know, know them 
enough to be to, mm-hmm. for it to be personal. You know. What so I mean? why are you making mention kind of, of it? Why I, was like, mm, I don't know about meeting them yet because I, I mean, I, like, I don't know them well. You know. So, so if you if they're strangers, why are you bothered about meeting it? Meeting people, it's like mm. because you don't like people, do you really? <laughs> Kilani, what's boring? Super cringe. So I just felt like they were just taking advantage of the situation. Like, no, you asked, we answered in like a dramatic sit down. No, nobody fucking asked. Nobody gives a shit. Well, actually, all the other people do. You don't. You don't. But it's not world according to Chantal, is it? It's not YouTube according to Foodie Beauty. There were a lot of people interested in their opinions. I, I would think that, not that I've seen it, uh, this video that they've made or statement, but I would have thought it had attracted a lot of attention. Because, of course, beforehand, they'd always supported you, you know, no matter what you did and said. All right. Okay, I'm going to go now. <laughs> okay, then, kid. I love you guys. Do you? Yeah, I, I don't like want to it. talk about them. I don't want to bash them. They, they are nice women. I just, You've I, just, I just They're just two-faced. I just don't like two-faced people. That's it. But they are very nice people. They're and nice people, but they're two-faced. So that's, that's it. That's an oxymoron. Same like thing with face. face. I'm not giving any attention to. Well, you've just done it, haven't you, darling? You've just given it attention. I get it. I'd rather people talk to my face, not my back. Yeah. I know VIP. That's the thing. I'm learning that. Like some people just have ulterior, ulterior motives or intentions. I guess I and don't you, know. Like and you're always the victim, aren't you, Bab? But whatever. Boo hoo. Tess is a beezer. Everyone's a beezer, including yourself. I think by nature trolls are beezers because beezing is like a mischievous type of behavior. I think yeah. Sam's a troll. And in that, you are queen of us all. If we're all beezers. Oh. Okay, I'm going to get off now. And, You've said that before. Um, You're still here. Come on. I will see you guys later. All right. I'll be here. Hey, <coughs> I love you guys. I'll be back at seven. See you later. Alligator. Bye. Bye. There she is with a little cheeky grin. Hello, Mr. Moo. How are you? Yes, she's um, done a little bit of cleaning. Uh, thankfully, she's not living in quite the shit hole that she was living in before. Uh, she's done very well. I mean, I, I was a little bit shocked about how little she put any energy into that sweeping and mopping. But, I mean, you know, she's attempted to it. At least, you know, the stuff's off the floor. We'll see how long it takes for her to mess it up, eh? Thanks for being here. Thanks for coming and listening to me rattle on. I really enjoyed it, chatting to you all. Take care. Till I see you later. Be good. And if you can't be careful. Can't be good. Be careful. <laughs> I got mixed up a bit. I'm not, I'm not on the wine. Not yet anyway. <laughs> I'll see you later. Because you know. I love you all. You know. Loads and loads and loads. I really do. See you later. Bye bye.